welcome back to PCSimulators.org and we are on the virtual journey in this video. If you recall in our last video we were in Bordeaux and we were using Microsoft Train Simulator with open rails to drive trams around Bordeaux. So we are, yes, still in Bordeaux and we are in European Truck Simulator 2 and yes that is a car. It is a car that we're using with European Truck Simulator 2. It's a BMW X6 and uh, this is a mod so it's not part of the default game as um, European Truck Simulator has lots of mods which you can add to it to make the uh, game better and um, this is one of them so we'll have a video hopefully shortly about how you can use this mod and the other mod that we use is called Pro Mods and that's also free so if you look in the background Pro Mods adds more cities to the default game and enhances the scenery so uh, this is Bordeaux where we are in there's even people walking along the street and let's go inside the car there you go that's the interior of the car or well uh, modeled so a nice BMW badge there we can look around the uh, cockpit and the chairs seat belts even look all attention to detail very very nice okay so where are we going we are going to go to this place called Poitiers, because there's an air airport there. So we're going to go to that place and uh, we're going to catch a plane. So let's click on drive and get going. We set up our GPS and uh, stick some lights on. Okay, and off we go. Now the only thing is, is this this is a very very whoops very very twitchy car to drive, and uh, it's so ultra sensitive and it makes a very clicky noise. You can hear it now and again. You hear the clicky clicky. I have no idea why it does that. And you can see how, how oversensitive it is. So, we're going to drive. We've got uh, a 343 kilometer trip. And it should take five hours according to the uh, display, but obviously it's accelerated in European Truck Simulator. So, up, lights are green and off we go. We drive on either side of the road. In the, in the UK, we drive on the left, so this is um, all different to a sprit, but. Luckily, I drive, I've driven in Italy as well, and Germany, so I'm used to driving on the right. And uh, there we see Bordeaux in front of us as well. Actually, see if I can show you around the city a bit before we go. So, there seems to be some cargo bits. Let's turn that way. And yeah, again, as I said, this is Pro Mods. Uh, Promos 2.1, which is um, an add-on. You also got uh, Truck Sim, Truck Sim Map, which is another add-on, and they all got lots of pluses. But a lot of people uh, like Promos because it's easier, I think, to install. Um, but correct me if I'm wrong. But they're both as good as each other. I think they both got good points and bad points, uh, but they do enhance the game a lot and add more cities. So for some of the mods, you probably need uh, extra add-on packs. I, I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but we can have a look at that uh, in a future video, perhaps, if there's demand for it. So I'm just going to drive around here so you can see a bit of Bordeaux. And um, what's the horn like? Great. <laughs> so there you see Bordeaux like, on, on, on the map. And there's Bordeaux over there as well, of course. Let's see if we can go near the town centre have a look what's in there. And then we'll go on our way. Yeah, it's saying left, okay. Oh, look, there's even a little. See a little over there? So this looks a bit like the town centre. Which we obviously, uh, if you recall, we were driving through with the trams, but whether it's exactly the same, I don't know. You can't go that way, which is a shame. So the thing sometimes about uh, the uh, ETS is that you can't actually explore into the centre of the city in some in some map, which is a real shame. Okay, so let's see if we head out now. We've left Bordeaux, and uh, we'll head towards our destination. If I say Poitiers, is it? Is that how you say it? I don't know. So off we go. Do we have to turn here? No, we don't. It sounds like a sports car, doesn't it? The only thing is that clicky noise is really quite can be quite um, irritating. But okay, we'll have to put up with it for now. So 
we can look at the outside of the car as well. See, there's the outside. There we are. A little way to the lights. You can zoom in as well. So we've got the BMW badge. Pretty nifty. Oh, it's green light. Let's see what it looks like on the outside. Oh, that's better actually. It just makes that clicky noise from here. See the indicator actually. Oh, oh, no. oh dear. Oh my god, oh good god. Oh, crying out loud. Oops, sorry about that. I thought I was supposed to turn left by there. Never mind. I do apologize. So is this one? That's because I'm trying to drive on the outside. <laughs> an external view, that's my excuse. Oh! There you go. A bit of drama there. Let's get back in, it's getting a bit tricky to see what's going on. Oh well, a bit of drama there for the virtual journey, our first incident. And um, go up the wrong way. So, <laughs> dear me. Also, that, there's a, there's that noise, you hear that noise, it goes, vroom, that's uh, I don't know why he does that. It's like trying to accelerate over there. I think it's part of the, maybe the mod itself, so it's one of those niggly things you have to put up with. There's sunset in the background. Go over this bridge. But as you see, the pro mod is really is really good. Actually, I think that that click, you know, it might be the gears changing. Ah, point here. There we go. We're in the right direction now. So keep on going. Turning wheel, it really goes all over the place, like as you can see. <laughs> and it's not my driving, honestly. You know, I did crash earlier on. It's definitely not my driving. It's very, very sensitive. So, if you haven't, um, heard about the virtual journey. It's a journey across the world with various simulators. We've used a number of simulators already including um, FSX, X-Plane, the first flights and um, helicopters. Uh, we've used OMSI, uh, no we haven't used OMSI 2, we will be using OMSI. We've used Train Simulator, we've used World of Subways 3, the London Underground and we uh, have used Open VVE as well as Open Rails and um, we will be using also Fern Bus Simulator as well in the future. And, oh yes, we do also use a Ship Simulator. So here are the tolls. Let's pay our tolls. Right, let's open the gate. Okay, we don't want to get caught in that barrier, do we? So I can now sprint in this guy. Uh, no, I'm got any power. Where's the fun in there? So, uh, it's accelerated time, of course, in uh, in, in Euro Truck Simulator. As I was saying, yeah, we're going to be using, uh, we're going to be flying from this airfield with FSX. They, we have got uh, scenery for this particular uh, airfield. And then I haven't decided where to go yet, but uh, I'm hoping to go, obviously, to Paris in one of the videos. And uh, maybe uh, Marseille, and uh, where the train simulator add-on route is. 
come dovetail, and uh, then we have to decide what country to go in after that. But uh, we are we are we are making uh, the routes up as we go as we go along. Uh, we, there's no definitive route as such, but uh, we see what routes we can take by basically looking at the scenery available, looking at. Uh, if there is, for example, a real airport, if there's uh, cities that are modelled in certain games and then um, simulators, and then we go and actually use them. So, um, for the time being, I will um, keep quiet and we'll be back with some more commentary closer to the, our destination. So, rather than bore you with lots of dialogue, enjoy the scenery!
Thank <laughs> you. 